Amazon.com massage gun 5 to 50 35 bucks add to cart 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 place your order I just ordered 10 of the cheapest massage guns on Amazon but is cheap the way you should go or should you save your pennies and buy premium Let's find out. What's up, Superhumans? BT here. I like to create content that's gonna help you move, feel, and perform better both mentally and physically. If you are new to this channel, if this is the first video of mine that you're seeing, well, first of all, I just wanna say welcome. I'm stoked to have you. Please join the conversation below by leaving a comment. I read and answer every single one of them. A little while ago, I put out a video entitled Hypervolt versus Theragun, a complete review. And for a little channel like mine, well, it did quite well and ever since then once a week once every other week a company will reach out and ask me to review their massage gun they're normally just like the chinese knockoff brand that just has serious quality control issues and that's not the kind of stuff that i like to put in front of you guys but two things happened one a company did reach out that actually offered a really good product at substantially cheaper cost than the Hypervolt or the Theragun. And two, <laughs> I gave both of mine away and I really needed one. So I did a very human thing to do and I just took the free gun. Here it is. This is the Recovery Fun Plus. And it is almost identical to the Hypervolt. I know it looks a little bit different, but the interface is just the same. It's got the exact same battery. It's a removable battery. It's the exact same battery. And at the end of the day, after using this for about a month, it gave me the exact same experience that the Hypervolt did. And that got me wondering, like, how cheap could I possibly go and still get the same experience as like a Hypervolt or a Theragun? Because if I were to take one of these massage guns, they're all under 50 bucks. Even if it broke, I could buy 11 more and that would give me the same cost as one Theragun Pro. That's kind of nuts. Now keep in mind that this is the first time I've ever reviewed that many products at once. So I'm gonna do my best, and at the end of the video, I've got a way to rank them. Cool, let's do it. Bam! I've been tinkering with it. Joy Life Feel. Uh, common thing, theme throughout all of these unboxings today is you're just gonna notice really shitty names so what does it got it's got light weight and portable oh that doesn't say portable my friend that says porta null with an n ai chip this this thing has artificial intelligence that's a new one that's that's intense humanized button <laughs> this is the first time i'm reading these which one is the humanized button though Joy life feel, here we go. Uh, that's how you turn the battery on. This battery does not come out. Turn it on, it's just touch sensitive. This goes up to 20 levels, oh my God. But that's it. This is as gnarly as it gets. Let's compare that to our Recover Fun Plus. Way faster, way, way, way more powerful motor. This one, all the way. This thing freaking sucks. You would have to, like, just dr drive that in there. Um, if you're somebody with decent size, like, you're gonna burn this motor out trying to get deep. So, this is what I've kind of learned about this Chinese knockoff, is it sucks. And I would avoid it, because it also 
I haven't found any warranty information. I'll do my best tracking through these, but let's go ahead and unbox the rest and see if they compare at all with this one and see if we can get around the price, find something for under $50. Everything under here is under 50 bucks. I didn't select the lowest option on Amazon, which was under 25, because that was nothing but dildos and sex toys. That's not what this channel is about. Yet. The snail wax. That's right. Snail wax. All right, does it come with a case? Ooh, it does come with a case. And the case is pretty nice. Look at these accents. We got like grommeted handle. Is that a word? Excellent zippers. Much harder, retains its shape even better. Okay, interesting shape. Very light. One single button back here. Five speeds it looks like. Okay, let's turn this off. Let's see, here are your, you get four things. Okay, uh, blue just came out of this gun. Kind of worries me. Amplitude's less on this one than this one. More powerful. Recover Fun Plus is a little more powerful. This is gonna require some extensive testing. High power but low decibel vibration. 30 minute percussion massage. It takes 80 minutes to charge. Or no, it can go for 80 minutes. So that's substantially less than this or the Hypervolt or the Theragun because these will last for six hours. Lots of glare. Anywhere from like 60 to 66. So not accurate on the uh, Amazon site. It said 45. Let's see what we get out of the Recover Fun. This is probably louder. We're getting about 62. All right, so Snail Lax. The case is great. The battery sucks. It's not gonna last you very long. It only has four attachments compared to most of these guns have five, six, some of them even more. The next gun. Okay, Dick Fios, Dick 028 is the model number. We do get a user's manual. Comes with one, two, three, four, five, six heads. Put that in there. Uh, a really huge foam ball, a um, smaller foam ball. The rest of these are orange. It's kind of weird. So this is a 2000 milliamp hour battery. Ooh, this goes all the way up to 30 levels. It's very rattly. Ooh, that's not a good sign. I'm barely pushing and the motor is taking it right now. I can tell you already that Dick Fios is gonna run out of juice and you're gonna probably blow a motor after very few uses. It's only coming up on Amazon. So you got 30 days to return it and something tells me on day 31 that motor's gonna blow, which sucks. Something that actually makes sense. We've got the fascial gun. It does not come with a case. It comes with the user manual. It's, whoa. Okay, they gave you like a pretty intense and legit uh, anatomy guide. Somebody went to a lot of trouble making this. Let's just get into it and see if it's any good. It does not come with a case. Instead, it comes with the really shitty plastic lining thing. So it's got really poor indicators. So it has six levels, the manual said three. This outer casing plastic is quite cheap. Oh, this has a one year warranty, only ava available for products purchased from official or author authorized channels in mainland China. So I'm host, because I got this off of Amazon. What are my initial impressions? Um, my initial impressions are that the manual and the time they put into the manual, they put probably 10 times that amount of time into the manual than they did the actual device. Charminer six speed massage gun. This was the cheapest one. It came in at $28, $27.89. Three hour battery life, 35 decibel low noise range. Something tells me that's a crock of shit. This is saying about 64 decibels. First review, what was sweet on the tongue grew bitter in the stomach. Yeah, this thing kind of 
This thing is crap. All right. This one. <laughs> this one I'm looking forward to. But look at that. It's got the Captain America logo on it. Ooh, this is what I'm talking about. Look at that packaging. You get a Captain America massage gun case with, look at these details. Captain America, like, zipper pulls. I've never, I've never been this happy. It's pretty good. I mean, it's Captain America. All right, so this is a really dinky. You hear that? That's not a good sign. It's shaking all over the place. All right, uh, 2,000 milliamp hour battery. Let's turn this up. It says it goes to 20 levels. Oh, that's not a good sign. Cap, you were supposed to be better than this. This is the weakest one yet. It, the build quality is not good. It's like cheap plastic. Maybe this is just for massage. Yeah, even that is like rattling the crap out of the battery. Yeah, do you hear that? Sounds like it's gonna break, like right away. Well, best case appearance. You know, I give it points because it's Captain America. But that's where the points end, this gun blows. Okay, that was a weak piece of crap and undeserving of the Captain America name and shield. Oh, no. it comes with a case, it's a small case, small portable everywhere. Okay, wires everywhere, I can tell you it comes in at $42.99, has 18 ratings of five stars and has this very interesting tip, it's like a thumb. That's what it's actually supposed to be. This actually feels kind of nice. What, what can I tell you about the console gun? It has six heads. I count seven. Let's see, super batteries and super brushless motors. Operating charging, full charge, takes two and a half hours. The average run time is about five plus hours. Uh, RPM. Let's turn this puppy on and see what we're all about here. Wow, that's... Okay, that's the best looking LED backlight I've seen. If that's as powerful as it gets, that's not powerful. This is not meant for thick, super athletes. Well, I mean, super athletes could be super petite too. Amplitude's probably eight millimeters, it looks like. So that's one thing. Do you hear how the motor doesn't like die when you press on it? That's a good sign. So this could last a really long time, like, Let's see what, how quiet is it? This thing's pretty quiet. Yeah, quiet, 50 decibels. So quietest one has the best build quality out of all of them, for sure. Honestly, for your smaller person, uh, not a huge bodybuilder, this is looking pretty compelling right now. All right, number six. All right, this one is the... The thumb, it has a removable battery, and that's huge. It's 2,500 milliamp hours, which is great. Let's turn this puppy on. LED touch, it's super sensitive. It has 20 levels, very comparable to the feel and speed of the Recover Fun Plus. This one so far is better than everything we've tested. This is feeling pretty close. Decibels. I'm getting 60. How does the motor do? Doesn't even take a hit, that's a good sign. So conclusions, this is my new number one. Conso number two. And the reason being, there's a couple reasons. One, it's got this nice texture grip. You guys remember the Air Jordan threes with the elephant print almost kind of looks and feels like that but it's like rubber very nice led back panel that's very touch sensitive it has six different attachments none of them feel that great 2500 milliamp hour battery and the motor sounds like it can take a wallop and that's why they're giving you a one-year warranty so for all that the fum gun is my number one pick right now
massage gun. Made in China. All of these are made in China, guys. This one has a case. It's a little bigger than the other one, even though it looks kind of exactly the same. Oh, check that out. It's got a lot of attachments that just came out all over the place. It's carbon fiber. True, this is probably just a vinyl sticker that they've heat, heat wrapped on there. Does it have a removable battery? It does. 2400 milliamp hour battery, so a little smaller. We're looking at seven attachments in this one. Let's put this puppy in there. I don't know if I like that noise. Not very powerful. Comes in right at 58 decibels. Motor doesn't take a hit. I'd say this is number two. I'd say this is number two. It's a little beefier than the console. So, so far we, well, the last one, uh, which was the FUM, that's number one. Carbon fiber, number two. Console, number three. And then I kind of forget, I'll be honest. So far, so good. All right. This one's got some nice packaging. This is the M9, whoa. Okay, we're on another level here. The M9 Pro is on another level. Now, even though it does not come with a case, I mean, look at this, guys. This is like, this is precision cut styrofoam for the M9 Pro, 2400 milliamp hour battery. I don't know if it, it doesn't, it doesn't look like it detaches, but then this thing is like, it's almost like suede. That's incredible. Oh, geez. This is, this has caught me off guard. This was $50 and it feels like a $300 gun. This feels better than the Hypervolt. Turns on. I like the white LED. It's very clean. This is the, this is by far the best looking and feeling gun we've got. Okay. This is, this is the moment of truth right here. Took it a second to get up there. But that's smooth. Like some of these rattle and feel like language in your hand when they're on and that maybe will wear your hand out. This is smooth. The grip is phenomenally comfortable. I might keep this for myself. I'm not lying. This is like a, this feels metal. It's like perforated. It just looks good. This red ring, this is it's my favorite one so far. We're coming in at 56 decibels, so it's not that loud. Motor doesn't take a hit. Oh, number one, right here. Number one for the other Max M9 Pro. We're in toss up territory, but I'll be honest, I'm a sucker for good aesthetics and this is just nice looking. That is so nice looking. So far, number one, M9 Pro. All right, last one. We've got the Elite Percussion Massage Gun, 2600 milliamp hour battery, brushless motor, 3300 RPM, 20 speed levels, detachable massage head, removable battery button, battery removal button, my bad. I was like, why would you want to remove the battery button? But that's just me having reading comprehension problems. Massage heads galore. This is kind of a little beefcake. Exactly like the Hypervolt, pretty much. Oh, it's got that elephant feel that we just had from the other one. Same button door. It does remove. Kind of felt like I broke it after I removed it. Very plasticky head. I don't like this. It's the Fiho. F-I-I-H-O with a lightning bolt. Maybe you get some points for the lightning bolt. All right, attachments. There's so many that they don't even have like spots for them. You get that weird shoulder attachment. 64 decibels. Motor takes a hit. Not too bad, but it does. All right, that is everything. We've gone over all the guns. Okay, so how did all of these devices stack up against each other? And maybe even more importantly, how did they stack up against a premium product like the recovery fund plus so i made a very simple chart or spreadsheet and i awarded them 
points so that we could create a ranking system. And some of these categories are worth more points than other categories. So as you can see here from my <laughs> very rudimentary chart I made on Procreate, the Fiho, the M9 Pro, the Joy Life Feel, God, I hate that name, and the Carbon all scored higher than the Recovery Fund Plus. So does that mean that I would then recommend those four products over a Recovery Fund Plus? Not necessarily. For me, it, com it really comes down to communication and customer experience. For me, I know that if I buy a Recovery Fund Plus, I have a direct line to their team and that company via Instagram. They have an Instagram account. And then from there, they have a full-fledged website and customer support team. So if I do have any problems, it's not hard to contact them. It also comes with a good warranty. It's a one-year warranty that I know will be easy to redeem. And I say easy to redeem because the others, the cheaper ones, the ones that we looked at today, if, if you remember, they all came with cards that explained how long the warranty was in the back of them, but none of them explained how to get the warranty. There was no information. They were super vague on like who to contact or how to file a warranty claim. So if it should break, and let's be honest, all but two of them feel like they're going to break, you're kind of SOL. Speaking of which, the two that I didn't feel like were gonna break. The Carbon scored the highest. It had 14 out of 16 points. Yes, these are pretty arbitrary point values, but needless to say, it scored the highest. Does that mean the Carbon Fiber Gun is the one that I would recommend? No. This one is. This is the M9 Pro. And even though it didn't have the case, it doesn't have a removable battery. It doesn't have the biggest battery. It didn't have the most attachments. This is the one that I would pick and I'm actually going to keep. It feels rock solid. It feels better than the Recovery Fun Plus. It feels better than the Hypervolt. And I think it looks better than everything I've ever tested. Now that being said, would this replace something like a Theragun Pro, even at 12th its cost? No. And here's why. As good as it is, a professional has to rely on that Theragun for all day, every day, four years. And first-hand experience, Theragun Pros do last that long. I gave my Theragun Pro to my buddy Tom, who owns US Cryo, it's a recovery center. He uses his Theragun Pro three or four times an hour for 10 hours a day for six days a week and has for years. And it just continues to last. Not the one I gave him, the, it, the iteration before that. So they last forever and professionals cannot have something break and then buy and have no customer service and then rely on shipping times and blah, 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 blah. And even though I do think this would last uh, a very long time, I don't have the confidence nor the ecosystem, right? The customer service ecosystem to then recommend it. For everybody else, person like me and you just going to the gym, I cannot see myself recommending this or a Hypervolt even knowing that this thing exists. And at the time of purchasing this, this was under 50 bucks. So I don't know what it is now, but this, that's amazing. This thing's amazing. All right, that's it. If you like the video, please hit the thumbs up button. I can't tell you how far it goes with the YouTube algorithm to get this video in front of other people just like you who are trying to make a difficult buying decision. It also lets me know what kind of content you wanna see more of. If you love the video and you wanna see more like it and you wanna be entered for a chance to win some pretty kick-ass prizes, like right now we're giving away a Compex IR. That's 600 bucks in value. Well, it's just $600. Uh, all you gotta do is subscribe down below and follow me on Instagram. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'll catch you later. Peace.